Hello, I'm Joe and welcome back to the modding room where we will be building the first ever EK Fluid Gaming Conqueror system. That's significant because it's the first Fluid Gaming system to feature quantum parts and that's why you get me. <laughs> Nice. We'll be putting in the Reflection 2 distribution plate, a full copper, full cover Vector 2 GPU block, and a Velocity 2 CPU block, along with two of the latest Surface radiators, the two S360s. So fitting with that massive cooling spec that we have, we will also be using some rather extraordinary hardware. So for the graphics, we have a Zotac Trinity OC, GeForce RTX 3090 with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. And for the motherboard, we have an Asus ROG Strix X570e, which will be installing a 5950X AMD Ryzen and 64 gigabytes of G-Skill Trident Z Neo. We need quite a big case to fit all this stuff in. So for the first time, we're stepping things up from the O11D to the O11D XL and a lot of other tiny details coming. So let's unbox everything. So now we have the motherboard finished. We have in the socket a AMD Ryzen 5950X and down below in the M2 heatsink slot we have a Seagate Firecuda 520. Uh, it's a PCIe Gen 4 drive and in this spec we have a one terabyte. In the memory slots we have four 16 gigabyte modules of G-Scale Trident Z Neo. Uh, that's the RGB kind. And to finish off the cooling, we have our Velocity 2 CPU block. So now we can peel off the sticker and move on to the GPU. So now the GPU is completely prepared. We have a Vector2 GPU block on the front side and also uh, a Vector2 active backplate on the rear side. Since this is an RTX 3090, we wanted to cool all of the components actively. So not just the VRAM on the front side, but also on the back side, as well as all of the power delivery components. And for this 450 watt beast, we will need a fair few radiators and fans, so now we're going to start assembling those. So now the three biggest pieces of the cooling loop are ready to go inside the case. We have two slim 360 radiators, each equipped with three Vada X3 amp fans. These are full copper radiators. And we have a Reflection 2 distribution plate for the PCO 11 d XL. It's equipped with the industry favorite uh, Lang D5 pump, and that's also covered with a beautiful shiny full nickel cover. And it's also equipped with a drain valve for easy maintenance. So let's get these massive boys in the case.
So now we have all the big assemblies of parts inside the case. We started off with the distribution plate at the front and then added the two radiators at the top and bottom, which slide directly inside. The rear fans were also added and they're in intake configuration. So the rear fans pull out from behind the case, which shouldn't be obstructed. And the two radiators both exhaust the air up and down. That's so that heat isn't exchanged between the two radiators. They both have cool air to begin with and the lower one doesn't scavenge any air from underneath the case where it might also pick up dust. We also put the power supply in. It's an EVGA 1000 watt gold certified power supply and the eight terabyte storage drive from Seagate. So now we're ready for all of the cables, putting all the fans together and trying to squeeze on the back panel. So the cabling is finished, everything fit inside, and now we're going to be installing all of the fittings and very finally the tubing. So that will involve mounting everything where it has to go, building up the fittings and using those to measure the tube length so we can cut it, put it inside, and then it's ready to fill. So there we have it, the first ever EK Fluid Gaming Conqueror system ready to turn on for the first time. So let's hit it. As you can see, there's no shortage of rainbows. So this is sure to make your gaming space as vivid as it could ever be. And this system will be joining its smaller brother, the EK Fluid Gaming Conquest in the web shop very soon. So stay tuned where you will find this ultimate configuration with a GeForce RTX 3090, a Ryzen R9 5950X and 64 gigabytes of DDDR4 to demolish any game you should throw at it, as well as perhaps streaming at the same time. On your streaming ventures, you will absolutely love the quietness. The Lang D5 pump really lowers the noise ceiling so that you can game in peace, whether you have a headset or not, or an open mic on your desk or not you sure won't be hearing this one, just like you don't hear it in the video. Maintenance is kept very simple with a drain valve allowing you to open the reservoir and release all of the coolant, ready to be replaced with the same Mystic Fog or any color you should decide since this supports all of EK's available coolants. This build features an all copper loop with an active backplate for the RTX 3090. So all of the VRAM is cooled, meaning the memory junction stays happy in even the most demanding applications. As well as that, you also have our latest Velocity 2 water block on the CPU for the very best performance on this platform. All of it's brought together in a very convenient package that's easy to maintain and easy to upgrade in the future and is supported by our entire EK Quantum range of custom loop products. So, thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed seeing the system go together for the very first time, and we hope in the future we'll be bringing you even more such systems. So, stay tuned, subscribe, comment, and like if you enjoyed it. Bye.